Hello everybody and welcome back to the Homewood Shop. So today we're actually going to not do a workbench mod, but we're going to do a shop mod and we're going to do some uh, sound insulation panels. We're probably going to put them mostly over the windows to also help with a little bit of heat transfer, maybe some on the ceiling. We'll see where it goes, so stick around. I'm going to gather up some materials and it should be a lot of fun. Alright, so this should be all the materials that we need. So I've got sound absorbent insulation, uh, some screen to go over the front, boards for a frame, uh, some staples to hold it all together, and a tape measure to get all my dimensions correct. And we're probably going to need some screws, but those are right there, so we'll be good. So, fun continue. You know, this is fiberglass. I'm going to wear some gloves. I guess I may need a saw, but we'll get to that. Alright, I found some pliers. So these actually have the dimensions on them. Where are they? 16 inches by what? Um, Three inches thick, 15 and a quarter wide by 47 long. So I need these guys to be 15 and a quarter by 47. These are 48, so they're ever so slightly too big. Um, and that'll fit three widthwise. So. Um, let's get to pulling all the nails out of those. Yeah. Staples. Lots of staples everywhere. Staple on the end? That's weird. I wonder what these were used for, because they were sitting at close, just everywhere. But there's a little stack of these guys, and I don't know what they were originally used for. So, if you guys know, again, let me know in the comments. Because, unfortunately, I don't know. I especially don't know why they put all these staples in them, because there's nothing attached underneath them, so I wouldn't expect there to really be a lot of form or purpose to them. Okay, so now we're going to cut some of those to length. Actually, we're going to open this, get a real measurement, because as much as I like knowing what the back says, I don't trust it. Because it could be close, but it could be, I don't know, half an inch off, which would be a little bad. Or it could be three inches off, which would be really bad. This Wow, that really wants to come out. I just realized I'm not really going to be able to move this very easily once it opens. Pop! Pull out a slice. Cool. So now I have slices of foam. These are the 
15 and a quarter. The phone's making a weird noise. By 47. So, let me check again. We'll make these 15 inches by 47 exactly. So, let's cut one to 15 inches. Well, go 47 first, but. 215 to 47. Let's cut them. Should I use this handy dandy end vise? Get it about as square as possible. made a mistake. We're going to have to squish it more because, well, this is at perfect length, these are at perfect length. Which means there's going to be a gap on the corner. So I'm going to have to overlap one way, so this is only going to actually be closer to about 47, or sorry, 45 inches. But, because this is foam and it will squish quite a bit actually, we don't want to do that because it'll slightly hinder the sound dampening. But it'll work on the first one. So hopefully it is a salvageable mistake. Chuck it up. Clamp it. Ooh, I got some new clamps. Let's go grab those and use those. Got my glove. Alright, I'm gonna get some clamps, I'll be back in a second. I figured we might as well get the new clamps a little bit of break in. See how they do. They're even still in the box. And now, this one? No, I didn't. Cool. So we're gonna assemble these guys like this. Put this guy down here. Put the clamp. Expand it. Because I really need to get just the first screws in. It's gonna take a while to break in. Basically, we're going to line up and square all the corners as well as the heights get all those exactly where we want them cool so everything is lined up we are close to square close enough now we're going to Drill so we don't split the wood. We're gonna drill it and then we're gonna put in the screw. And repeat. Nice and simple. Nothing too complicated. Ooh, sorry guys, it's loud. So the reason we're gonna pre-drill these is because if we just stick these massive screw into a one inch board, it's just gonna split and go everywhere. Now we can remove the clamp, that way we can get the bottom ones. Make sure they're square on the bottom. Flip it over, and do the exact same thing on the other side. Apparently I did this clamp slightly tighter. They hold surprisingly nicely. Which is a very good thing for new clamps. It is well, that's important. Cool! Now we have a frame. It's not exactly straight, 
as the corner does bow. But that's what you get for a cheap, cheap, cheap work door. Now we're gonna make sure this fits. If it doesn't, well, I'm gonna have to make some modifications. It squeezes in, but it's a little tight for what we're going for. So it will work. We just have to make sure not to do that on the next one. All right, so now that we have some sound insulating material, we need to put a screen over it so that when I hang this up, it doesn't just flop over. Which, I've managed to hide right behind myself. I didn't guys say anything. I mean, it was right there. Cut this guy open. Yeah, I finally brought a knife. It seems like a good decision, considering that pretty much every other episode I've needed a knife, and well, didn't have one. So this is just screen repair fabric. Surprisingly enough, it was cheaper to get a very, very large roll than it was to get a small piece. Logic. And it's just long enough so that I can staple it over here, pull it over, give it a slice, cut it, and that's it. So, any any stapler that I've been bringing around everywhere? I think we're gonna wanna go with the screen, because it naturally curls one direction. I'm gonna go about halfway, staple it. Go to the other side, about halfway, and again, Ugh. Try and staple it. I just failed miserably. Cool. And when this is cut, we're gonna go back and do the center of it. But now we need to put this up over here. Get it to length. As it turns out, staples in the staple gun are incredibly convenient. Move this over. Sweet. Now let's do it on the other side. Cool. So that is one sound absorbent panel. In theory, that means it won't really bounce around the shop as much. So, where should I put it? What do you say? I like to put it up decently high, which probably just means I'm gonna put it on some tools until we actually hang it. From what I've heard, the ideal percentage of coverage is like 30%. And if you go over 60%, the room just sounds dead. And we're not making an anechoic chamber. But we do want this to be nice. Doesn't look that bad. Sweet. All right, let's make another one. So instead of cutting these at 47, I actually need to leave them at 48. That way, when I put the board on the inside, it will eat up all the extra, and well, it will also save me a couple of cuts. These things are so bowed. I thought I had some sauce for myself. I mean, I knew I needed these again. But no, it's just too easy to keep the tools where you actually need them. One thing I did not do last time, but should have, is put these facing the same direction. That would have been smart. So if you align the bow 
both in the same direction and it visually looks straight. It's a framing trick that is incredibly useful, but also very difficult to master. Because you have to be able to tell which direction they go, of course. Which is not always easy, unfortunately. But like most things in life, when you want to do it right, path is not normally easy. I don't actually need it true square. It'll just aesthetically look a little better. Had a tiny little puff of smoke come out. Neat, right? Well, we're gonna square it right up. As soon as I figure out how to work my clamp, right? And another screw. I feel like we've done this before. Cool, let's see how well round two fits. Which if it's better. It's tight, but not nearly as tight. It's pretty much an exact fit, which is the goal. One extra foam, and you guys can go in. Eh, I can't reach. Too short. Okay, the foam is perfect in there. Let's walk in decision A. Stop flying. Oh jeez, I'm throwing saws. They are uh, flailing everywhere. Actually, we're going to go through with the hammer. Because my staples, while they are going in, are not going in super far. And some of them are actually not all the way in. They're only halfway in. That's one half. That's two panels. I don't know. Where should we put it? The workbench? Sure. The other workbench. Take out some of these hard angles and everything else. So, I only bought enough wood to do some prototyping, which means. This next one's gonna be the last, and we'll see what the difference is, but we'll see. Tape my gel. Slide it over, and we do it again. Have so I ever mentioned that? You're great. My drill bit's smoking. Wood's on fire. See, it's really hard to put in a screw when you forget to grab the screw. Cool, and that is one more done. So now I have three of them done. I'm out of wood. I gotta go pick up a lot more and we'll do the rest of this next week, as well as maybe hanging them around the shop. So I need to pick up some brackets and a whole lot more of this lumber. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you learned something new. Um, this is kind of gonna be a how-to, but hope you learned something new and we'll see you guys next week.